Hi, grace and peace be yours from God our Father and from our Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Ralph Hill from Mount Hoare Lutheran Church, and each day Pastor Joanna Gregg and I uh, get together with you and we look at God's Word uh, and we dwell in it, um, thinking about what God might be saying to us and what, how God might be nudging us in our lives. So we pray you're having a good day today, and let's jump into the Word. Uh, today I want us to look at Luke chapter 6, verses 12 through 19. And here's the reading. Now during those days, Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God, and when day came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all of Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They'd come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out of him and healed all of them. So as you dwell in this hearing of God's word, what, what comes to mind for you today? What I thought about initially that jumped out at me today was Jesus and his disciples, that he called some to be apostles, and he included them in this ministry of being with people and responding to their needs. And it reminded me of, I guess, of watching how that might play out in today's world. You know, recently we've been experiencing the many uh, graduations that are around us. Um, and during this pandemic, it's been very uh, heartwarming to see how there have been Zoom graduations and drive-bys and all kinds of ways to celebrate this moment. But there are pre graduations from preschool or elementary school or to middle school or high school or maybe a trade school or certification training or college or graduate school. This point in our lives when we graduate is a time to acknowledge uh, this period of learning where we've acquired this kind of a skill set or ability to think, but it also embraces the opportunity for us of what is in the future and how can we now apply this learning in life that is ahead of me. And so in this, this passage of scripture, I heard Jesus choosing disciples and calling them to be apostles, maybe a little bit like a graduation. Um, and I read somewhere where that while a disciple is a student, it's somebody who um, uh, learns from the teacher. A disciple is a, a student of the teacher. Um, an apostle is sent to deliver those teachings to others. So apostle means a messenger, uh, the one who is sent. And an apostle is sent to deliver or spread those teachings. So we talk about being disciples of Jesus today, you and me. We talk about being students of the teachings of Jesus, and we call that the people of the faith, or in earlier days, it was people of the way. But today, this apostle part um, is kind of what stood out for me. It reminds me that we are to be the ones who deliver and who spread the teachings of Jesus to others, not only with our words, but with our actions. And so how do I? Or how do you live out what we have been taught? Um, you know, when you read about them, some of the apostles' practices were effective, and some weren't always so effective. A lot of times what we do, it depends on how other people receive it or experience it. Um, we could probably say the same about our own attempts at ministry. Sometimes we're not as effective as we'd like to be. But throughout their apostolic service, the disciples realized that they needed to be long life or lifelong servants of Jesus, that they needed to be students that reminded themselves of these teachings time in and time out. And I think no matter how long we've been Christian or followers of Jesus, we need to do the same and remind ourselves daily of the original reason we're doing this. Um, I read about Ben Franklin where he used to ask two questions every day of his life. And in the morning he would say, what good can I do today? 
And then at the evening or the end of the day, he would say, what good have I done today? And those were like bookends for him that allowed him to think on his day about doing and being some a good for others, being a positive presence in the world. So I think being loving servants uh, invites asking these daily questions. What good can I do? What good have I done? And being modern day disciples and apostles includes also a daily reading of God's word or maybe a new skills training to be more effective or learning from other followers to see if, if we can learn from each other. Learning from each other. And we've all had mentors along the way um, that help us to do this. Um, you know, at Mount Horeb Lutheran Church, we say that our life is like in a rhythm, uh, like a pendulum swing back and forth, that we're in a rhythm of abiding in Christ, and we do that by gathering to worship or learning by reading and studying and sharing God's word. And then we go out into the world to witness and serve, to be fruitful. So we abide in the presence and learn about God's teachings, and then we go to be fruitful by bearing witness and by being servants. And we've all had mentors along the way who shape and form our thinking, who make a difference in our lives because they fed or they nourished who we are and the potential of who we will or could be one day. And Jesus did this with his disciples, and he does it with you and me today. As a mentor of mine used to say to me and others, every day is a gift, a gift to experience and share God's presence. So how do you hear that today in this passage about Jesus calling his disciples or his apostles to be sent out into the world to share his teachings? Um, and think about that today. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you for your word today. Thank you for your being in our lives. Strengthen and provide their, your wisdom to dwell in us so that we can go out and be your presence in the world wherever it is needed. In your name we thank you and pray. Amen. Hey, God's peace. Good to see you today. Blessings as you go on your way.